Hey guys, it's Jara here and welcome to carving pumpkin time. So I'm so excited to be carving this pumpkin because this is one of my favorite things about Halloween is just carving pumpkins. Because it's the only time of year that A, we get pumpkins this big in Australia or in Adelaide, and B, it's the only time where I can justify spending $15 for a pumpkin this big. So we're going to carve a pumpkin. I have a picture over here that I'm going to be doing. It's like a, you'll see it I guess at the end. I've got my lovely knives. So, we got this nice blue one. And we got this little one here. So this is gonna help us with carving. And then we've also got a marker so I can mark out where I'm drawing. I need to grab a bin because so I've got to do that. What is on my table? I need to grab a little bin so I can put all the insides into. But other than that, let's get straight on to carving, shall we? All right, so I got this bowl here, which should, I'm just gonna put all the insides into. So that should be good. Cause it, oh, it should hold everything roughly. So that is gonna, okay. That's gonna be to the side. I'm just gonna take off my rings because I don't want them getting lost inside this pumpkin. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this little knife and just cut a circle around the top, big enough where I can get the top off, small enough so that it doesn't cut off half the pumpkin. Now it's best if you cut by an angle so then it kind of sits in, because if you cut it just straight down, it will just slide straight down. So cutting it at an angle is the best bet that you're gonna have. So I'm just gonna start, like you can do a draw a line roughly, but just kind of here-ish. There we go. So roughly there. All right. I think I'm gonna need my baby knife over here. Because usually I have carvers, but I haven't gotten them out this year, so might need to use a bit more strength than just this. So we'll see. Isn't that cool? Alright. Let's just stand up for this, shall we? Alright, so using this little knife here is gonna be the best bet because what I've been able to do is just get it to go in all the way and it's just easier to come out. Pull it off. Oh yeah, and you know, like you should be able to push it in and no one will notice the difference. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna push my actual pumpkin to the side. So I've got my little bowl here. Basically, I'm gonna clean off, so I'm just gonna cut all of the brains off. You know, you wanna make sure it's nice and clean, not too much evidence is left behind. So just be careful with shaving it because you don't want it to be too much shaved because otherwise it won't go back on. But I just like to shave it off just so it has a nice bottom. You can do this however way you want, but it doesn't have to be like really good. See, I just did a teeny bit and it looks like that once done. Just so I know that if I have this pumpkin, should be able to just leave it and you won't notice a difference. So now that the top is done, I'll give you a quick look at what the inside looks like because it looks awesome. Good smelling pumpkin. So I'm just gonna so that's what the inside looks like. Oh. So that's pretty cool. But all of this part needs to go. So we're just gonna scoop it out with your hands. Or if you have a scooper, that works too. This is one of my most favorite parts of this entire thing, is just going in, feeling the insides, and just ripping at all the guts. 
I think it's one of the best parts. I'm carving a pumpkin other than you being able to stab it, but you might need a scooper. If you have a scooper, you can use that too, but I think using your hands is just so much better. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna need my bowl next to me. I'm just gonna do a nice little rough area. And then just put them into this bowl. And just, I gotta keep going round and round and round, grabbing all of its brains. The inside should be clean and tidy as much as you possibly can. So basically, you shouldn't be seeing a lot of the guts and stuff in that in there. Try and make sure that the base, so like the bottom. Okay, so make sure the bottom is nice and flat so when you put a candle or a tea light in there, it will not wibble and wobble around. So I'm just double checking. My lid fits perfectly. So now what I have to do is figure out what side am I going to put my pumpkin face on? So, I'm also going to take off the sticker because I forgot to do that. So basically, you can pick any side you want on a pumpkin. Usually you want either a flat surface if you are going for a face, or if you want more detail, round surface if it's just for fun. I'm going to be doing, I think I shall do a round surface. But the picture I'm doing is just, Two eyes, a nose, and a mouth. Nothing too extravagant or anything because I'm not an artist. So, let's just get the sticker off. I didn't do that before. I might do this side. I was thinking of doing this side, but now I'm looking at my picture, it will not work. So this side is perfect. So I'm just making sure it's nice and dry and that it is all good. Now what I will do is grab my marker. You can use a whiteboard marker or a permanent marker. It don't matter as long as you can physically draw on this thing. And then you can lean it like so and then try and do a rough drawing. It's up to you what you want yours to be. It could be however you want. So I'm going to just kind of just look at it for a second and see roughly where I want it. Okay, I'm gonna grab a new marker, but progress is being made. Marker wouldn't work. Alright. Alright, so I got my markers. I got a blue one and a black one in case this black one doesn't work because who knows? It might not work. Let's pray it does. Why do you not like me? Is that because you're wet still? I did splash a little bit of water on it just to clean it a bit. But it's pretty dry, so I don't know what's going on. Alright. So again, the mouth can be whatever you want it to be. I'm going for a, like... Kind of like a smile, like a toothy smile. Um, I don't know how it's going to work yet. Yeah, this is looking alright. So far, I guess. I don't know. I'm gonna swap and see if this works better. Well, oh, you are so much better. Now that I have officially done the drawing, it looks kind of cute actually, now that I'm looking at it. 
gonna use my knife right here, this little one, and do the first little stab. And just kind of, you wanna do little jabs, because you know, you wanna follow the line as much as you can. So it helps if you have like a baby knife, or you can get a cutting set from Target, Kmart, Woolies, anywhere I think. I don't know. You should just be able to find them pretty much anywhere. I got a carving set years ago when I was in America, but I haven't really gotten that out this year, as you can clearly tell. So kitchen knives work well, but the knives that they give you in the carving set is really bad. It's always really flimsy. Like I always break them. We have to, I think we bought like four different sets and I've broken like three of them. Can you not poke out? There we go. So like once you've finished cutting it out, you can do whatever else you want to it, but I'm pretty happy with that eye. It looks pretty good. So, you know, if you want, you can figure out what to do with this, but for now it's going in my trash pile. And I'm just gonna work on the rest, I guess, and just keep on going. I'm very nervous about the mouth because it is quite such a detailed thing. And I'm not good at carving pumpkins. Like I would love to do a detailed one, but I can barely, you know, cut a circle or an oval out that great. So, all right, so now that I've just finished up scraping the inside a bit more, I got my scooper, very helpful. I got my little baby knife as well, which should be very helpful. We're just cleaning up the edges of things inside like the eyes and the nose because I need to do that so I'm just gonna do a quick clean and one nostril done so now I'm just gonna work on the other nostril I'm gonna use my little baby knife here because it's a lot easier than using the kitchen knife. Cut around the mouth, if you can see a little bit. I'm gonna try and push it out and see how well it goes. But I'm not sure, because it might not have cut through all the way in some areas. So we'll give it a push. I don't wanna break it too much, because I want it to kind of pop out. Come on. Like that, there we go. Okay, it can just pop out a little bit more. There. So, because you won't need that middle part, you can just, oh, okay. More and more. And you just kind of push it out. That's a good push. Right there. Have a look. Hey, that looks good. I can just push out this little bit here. I might need a cut.
back and it looks pretty damn good if I do say so myself. And that is my pumpkin. So I'm just gonna zoom it out a little bit. And turn the lights back on. Alright, let's have a look. Well, oh we better put the head back on. Final piece. What way does it go? That way. And look at that, the pumpkin is now complete. And it looks very, very good and very happy. So, like, you know, it could do with a little bit of clean here and there, you know, get rid of all the pumpkin. Poor little Jara. So. Poor little Jara. She just couldn't handle it, could she? She couldn't handle me anymore. And she thought she could get rid of us. <laughs> oh, how funny. You really thought she would have tried just a little bit harder. But no. She didn't even try. She ignored all the signs and none of you told her. How interesting. You all say that you like her. Yet you couldn't even tell her what was going on. How pathetic. But I don't have to stay in this stupid little body. She's quite weak. She can't even keep me in longer than she already tried. Now I'm here and I'm going to stay. We are going to stay for a long, long time. Just you watch. We got nowhere to go, we got nowhere to be. So why not play a couple of games? You know, cause all of us are ready to play. And we got all the time in the world. <laughs> oh, it feels good to be around. But I guess, We'll see what happens to poor little Jara. <laughs> oh, let's, we're gonna have fun, aren't we? I guess you just have to wait and watch and listen and see where we come up next. <laughs> Don't go too far. Neither did we. Okay, I think that's good.